is Keisha here at TradeWithResolve.com and I hope you're having a great trading day. If you're new to the channel and interested in platform tutorials, viewing live day trades, or learning some of the basic terminology that comes along when getting involved in the stock market, please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's tutorial of the Thinkorswim platform, I am going to walk you through how to access the drawing tools. So I am currently looking at SPY and I have detached the stock chart here. Now if you don't remember how to detach the stock chart, I will show you how to do that quickly here. You can go back to the home screen. You can see the quick chart here. Go to the menu and select detach gadget and then you can resize it. All right, so we are now back on the stock chart. Whenever you are looking to access the drawing tools, there are two ways that you can access them. The first way is you can select drawings and go down to drawing tools and all of your drawing tools are available here. There are tools such as price level, text notes, arrows, ovals, the Fibonacci retracements and extensions, etc. If you have a mouse that has the scroll wheel, you can click the scroll wheel and then you will have quick access to the drawing tools. So let's say you would like to draw a trend line for example. Here is our trend line tool and then we are just simply going to connect the highs here for example and there is your trend line. Let's say you would like to draw a channel pattern. They do offer a channel tool. So you draw your first trend line and then once you click the mouse you are then going to be able to see a duplication of the first trend line and then you'll have parallel lines and there you have it. Now you have your channel pattern here. If you would like to change the color simply right click the channel and select edit properties. You can then select the color here. All right, so that is how you can utilize the channel tool. Let's say you are interested in using the Fibonacci retracements for example. Let's say we were looking at the stock chart and at this point we wanted to use the Fibonacci retracements. All right, now we have our Fibonacci retracement levels here on the chart. If you would like to change the colors, again, right click, select edit properties, and then you can change the colors of the Fibonacci retracement levels to whichever colors that you wish. You can also change the style of the trend lines as well. If you would like a solid line, that is a possibility. If you would like a dashed line, you can change that as well. Another tool is simply utilizing the pan tool and that's going to allow you to drag the chart however you wish, which is quite helpful. You also have the ability to utilize an arrow. Maybe you want to draw an arrow here on the chart as a reminder of some sort. You can also add text. on the chart as well if you're interested in maybe annotating your stock charts whenever you are studying etc. So these are the different drawing tools that you have access to. Again there are two ways to reach the same destination. You can go up to drawings and then go down to drawing tools and here are all your tools and then if you have a scroll wheel on your mouse again click the scroll wheel and then you have your drawing tools available. And the last tool that I want to go over is the price level tool. You can simply click the price level. So now that we have our price level you can also edit this. So right click and select edit properties. If you would like to change the name you can. You can have the right extension on or off, same for the left extension. You can also display the price level. So here is showing 280.28. You can display that on the left or on the right. I personally prefer the left. And then of course you can change the style and color of the trend line and you have the option to 
Choose a dashed line if you wish, along with changing the width. So that is the price level tool, which I find very helpful. So those are just a few of the drawing tools that you have access to. But again, you can take your time and familiarize yourself with the different drawing tools that are available. There are quite a few to choose from. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial, and if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.